To write the Lewis structure for SBr4, sulfur tetrabromide, let's count the valence electrons up. Sulfur is in group 16, sometimes called 6A. It has six valence electrons. And then bromine, group 17, that has seven valence electrons. We have four bromines. That gives us a total of 34 valence electrons for the SBr4 Lewis structure. We'll put sulfur in the center, and then we'll put the bromines around it. So we have 34 total valence electrons for SBr4. Let's put a pair of electrons between the atoms to form chemical bonds. And then we'll complete the octets around the bromines. So at this point, we've completed the octets for all of the atoms. The bromines they have eight, and that central sulfur, it has eight as well. The only problem is we've used just 32 valence electrons, and we have 34. So we need to figure out a place for those remaining two valence electrons. Sulfur can have what's called an expanded octet, more than eight valence electrons. So we can take those last two valence electrons and put them on that central sulfur. We kind of needed to squeeze them in there, but this is the Lewis structure for SBr4. We have eight valence electrons around the bromines, and the sulfur, which can have an expanded octet, that has 10. If you check the formal charges, you'll see that this is the best or most favorable structure. You'll sometimes see the structure written like this where the bonding electrons are replaced with a straight line that represents two electrons. Either way, this is the Lewis structure for SBr4. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.